What is modern authentication? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Email programs have been mentioning something called modern authentication. And some email services are eventually going to require this different form of authenticating when you connect to your email service. What is it? Why does it exist? Well, let's look into that a little bit more closely. Traditionally, we've used a username, which is often just your email address, and a password in order to authenticate you with an email program like Thunderbird or Microsoft Outlook or any of those that you actually have installed on your PC. Unfortunately, those email programs don't know how to handle two-factor authentication. Some email services have provided what they've called app passwords, a password that they generate that you use instead of your normal password in your desktop email program. However, there's actually now a protocol that allows email programs to hand off the process of authenticating to the email service that you're using. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to configure Thunderbird here for one of my example accounts. Ask Leo example at hotmail.com. I'm not going to enter in a password. It's a passwordless account, which is right there, something that email programs typically would not be able to uh, support. However, we can. I'll go ahead and click continue. This is what comes up. What has happened here is that Thunderbird is now asking Microsoft to authenticate me, the user. This has nothing to do, none of this is implemented within Thunderbird. They're simply asking Microsoft, authenticate this person. They have entered in my email address, which in fact I mistyped earlier, Ask Leo example at hotmail.com. We'll click on next. Now I have to go to my authenticator app here on my phone in order to authenticate this user. Once I've done so, Mozilla Thunderbird is happy. I can go in and correct my email address here and it'll actually go through the process a second time because from Thunderbird's perspective, it's a different account, but you'll notice that the authentication came up and went away because it's already authenticated the correct email address. We'll go ahead and set this up as an IMAP account and we're done. We now have askleoexample at hotmail.com as an account in this email program. Again, what has happened here is that rather than Thunderbird going through the steps of taking my password, asking the service if the password is correct, telling me that it's wrong, all that kind of stuff, without the ability to even ask for a second factor, it has simply asked Microsoft, hey, here's an email address. Please let this person authenticate however you do authentication and let me know when you're done. So in this case, since it's a passwordless account, I had to do a confirmation on my phone. It could have been a two-factor thing where I had to enter a number displayed on my phone or in some other app. It could have been an SMS message. Any of those techniques that email programs themselves don't know how to handle are handled by this so-called modern authentication. The technical name, OAuth2. As I said, it's a protocol that's been designed to work between email programs and other places actually, and the services that you're using that allow the services to own authentication and leaving the programs to do what they do best, sending and receiving email. I used Hotmail as my example, but in fact, this works for Gmail too. I'll go ahead and add another account. We'll go to settings, account settings, account actions, add mail account, which is where we started. In this case, I'm going to say Leo Gmail example. This one is ask Leo 
test2 at gmail.com. Once again, I'm not going to enter the password for this account. This has a password, but Thunderbird actually won't be using it. We'll click on continue and we'll click on done. And here it is. We now have a dialog that has been provided by google.com. You can see that's accounts.google.com there in the URL line. So that is in fact the correct askleotest2 at gmail.com. Now I'll have to enter in my password and click on next. This is another scenario that you might see. It might give you what you recognize as being permission screen, where Thunderbird wants access to these things. And you basically end up having to say allow in order for that account to be configured. And there we are. I'm going to get rid of all these other windows that I created here because now I actually have the two accounts. I have my Hotmail account in Thunderbird, and I have the Ask Leo Test 2 account in Thunderbird, both of which were configured using Hotmail or Gmail's authentication mechanism. And each of those simply told Thunderbird, yep, he authenticated successfully. That then allows Thunderbird to basically save that answer. It's a secure token that when it goes to retrieve mail or when you try to sign in or start up your program again, it will remember that you had authenticated properly previously. But that initial setup uses this technique, the so-called modern authentication. I hope that helps clarify what it's all about. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 172824. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.